So we are going to see uh, today some basic uh, features of Pattern Pulse. First, um, Pattern Pulse uh, is a web platform, so you have to log in, in. So you use your email and a password to access to the platform. So this is the main screen of Pattern Pulse. You got here on the top of the screen here all uh, the features concerning the patent search, here the choice of databases, here the input of keywords. Uh, then here on the left you have a, a column in which you can um, create folders and subfolders. You have your own personal folders and you may access as well to shared folders shared by other users. You can create as many um, folders as needed. You Here you can see that uh, you have two kinds of icons. Uh, the one with uh, the uh, blue wheel inside um, is the, the way you will save uh, your search strategy, uh, your complete queries, meaning that this is a dynamic saving of the patent strategy and it will be easy to put an alert in order to detect new patterns matching your query. The other way to save the information is just to save uh, lists of patterns so you can save patterns one by one by drag and drop or uh, just by selecting them. Here on the top here on the main part of the screen here above you have all the results of the different alerts uh, that are running on my account. So for instance, for the cooperative patent classification, uh, B43L9, I have here three new patents and I can, by clicking on the alert, just act easily access to the patents. Here, on the bottom, you have my last pattern view inside uh, the platform. Here, my account information, and on the right, some tutorials. Um, I'm gonna make a quick search. So first, I will uh, choose to work on the US uh, database. In Patent Plus, you can access to um, the worldwide coverage database. This is the SPASnet database. With a complete worldwide coverage, uh, including uh, Chinese, Japanese, Brazilian, Russian patents. You can as, as well access to the European, European patents database, uh, the, the uh, world patent database, and the French patent database. And of course, you have the US published patents and the US granted patents. I'm going to write some keywords here. So a basic search such as uh, airbag and uh, side or lateral. You see that when I search for patterns, I can use Boolean operators, proximity operators, truncation, and of course I can search fields by fields and combine fields if I want to specify a search inside the uh, technological classification or search a specific applicants or mixed those all those kind of searches and okay let's go so when I click on the search button uh, pattern fields the platform is accessing to our own databases um, only uh, uh, for our own customers and the databases are updated twice a week. So we are receiving di directly um, um, the, the back files from the different patent offices and we are updating them in our own databases. So here you can see uh, the results. You have here uh, a short format with the list of results. You can, by pushing down the little arrow here, have um, um, more information. Here you can easily access to the patent title, abstract, all the numbers of the uh, classifications. 
and so I have a, a, a short view of what's in the pattern so you can scroll down and read the result <coughs> of your searches when you're interested in a specific patent just click on the title here then a new window will open and you will access to all the complete information uh, for this patent the information is divided into uh, different tabs here it claims description a full document drawings citation network legal information and so on for instance if you want to look at the claim you click on the claim button and here you have an access to all the claim of the patent um, now we will uh, go back on the patent information specific content on another video now just want to uh, show you some uh, very um, uh, basic features such as now for this uh, query I want to save uh, the information how can I do that you go on the little disk, disk on the right here go to save patent field query and a new window here you can create for instance a folder we're gonna call it airbag okay then I go on it and I will here just save the query so now you see that here on my personal folders under the folder tutorials I have the airbag folders with here my query so now it is saved it is in my uh, patent pills account very easily if I want to put another an alert to detect new patents I go here on the little calendar on the right the alert configurator I click on it I have here all the users of my account and I can just activate for me or for other users the alert for new patents when the alert will uh, be positive I will receive automatically an email so as the databases are updated twice a week I can receive up to two emails per week and I will as well receive a notification here with um, the, the query here the date and the number of new patents so now I have my uh, folder my main search and what I can do is to filter the, the information in order to read differently uh, all these patents information so for instance if I want to read the information applicants by applicants I go in the applicants menu and then I will select the uh, the applicant uh, for for which I have an interest for instance I want to uh, just get the patents from let's say you know uh, Nissan here I double click you see that now Nissan is here in the filter box and now I will launch a new search and I will here add the information with uh, a new such a new as a new query with airbag and lateral airbag and side or lateral and the applicant Nissan Motor Nissan North America now you see that here the applicant have only Nissan North America I can make it for applicants but I can make it for uh, technologies for instance using the uh, patent classification I will here go to the filter box and I will choose different uh, cooperative patent classification codes so this is a, a big here uh, um, a big uh, search with a lot of uh, documents so it takes a little time to uh, have all the lists here and I will choose uh, for instance uh, this one and uh, this one so now you see that they are in the filter box and I will do the, the filter on my main 
uh, request. Now, so I will have here the result of a query with airbag and side or lateral and these two classification codes. And here is the result. You see that I have a lot less uh, patent families. So now, if I'm interested in uh, some specific patent of this list, I can select them one by one just by clicking. So, for instance, we took here uh, four of them, and I will and now save them in a patent list. So, same process. I will set my airbag folder, and I will uh, name it uh, Techno One. Okay, and I save it. So now you see that we have here the airbag folder with my here my main search strategy, and I have a list of four patents with a specific interest. So this is this this is the first uh, video of the basic patent pulse feature and we will see a lot more in the other video. Thank you for your attention.